All right, we're gonna measure out for our grooves now. We got one four foot eight from this side. Which is right there. Four foot eight from the other side. Right there. And we're gonna just work around all these braces. Cut in. Actually, that looks to me like it should be right about. It wants to be right in the middle of that door and that window, so I'm trying to get a general idea of where that is over here. That gets us to about five feet. Looks pretty good. All right, so that's the same spots from the other side. The only trouble is we got braces. There ain't no way. Cut that down so I can get that screed by it. Right, maybe I don't have to cut it off. Maybe I can just slide it out and then just put that back in there like that. Alright. That back over to five foot two. Five foot two. Back up, check that. Five foot two is right there. Five foot two. Alright, get that groove cut and that's that's all we're cutting for grooves. I just 
scrape up a little paste. I have a hole to fill in. Let's fill in the hole in a little bit faster. It's as easy as it is to cut a groove. It was pretty creamy, nice mix. Won't be long, we'll be brooming this. Get the edge on here. Timing is the key to finishing concrete, so I mean I like I like putting the edge and the groove in a little bit later than most people I think so the concrete holds its shape really well. But again it's you gotta know how fast you are, how fast the concrete's setting up. It's just a matter of experience, timing, all that good stuff. The less experienced you are probably the quicker the earlier you're going to want to cut this stuff in definitely don't want to get it too late <laughs> you'd be pounding it in with a hammer all right just gonna mag out my two side squares pull the broom over it we should be good
you still do a lot with that company? You know what the key to pulling that broom back is? <laughs> you know, see? Don't squiggly it and just pull it back straight. No stopping. <laughs> by the name of Thor Whitney. Yeah. She's still in business. Ah. Uh. Trailer out behind me. Yeah. Huge piece of work. Left to do was pour the floor into the addition we did the night before. All right, so what I'm going to try to do is just take that front face, that front 2x4 off, rub that face down, make it a little smoother. So, I've given this concrete quite a while to set up. Let's see how good this is going to work. Don't want to damage it anymore, but it's all going to be exposed, so we want to make it look nice. Too bad.
basically what we want to do is just lightly rub that out. Not bad. Just rub it all out, fill them in, and it should be good. Yeah, it rubs out pretty easy. So if there's any little deeper marks in there, then you can just take a little bit of a little bit of paste from. I'm gonna scrape some off that two by four I just took off fill in the deeper marks with a little bit of paste that's on the two by and then or you could work some up too from from some old concrete that's on the ground but and then just fill it in with your margin trial and then just rub right over it just a little bit easier than trying to to rub in a deep space because it will show after take a little bit of that stuff right there if you need it And then you can just use it to fill in something like that right there. You can just rub that, work that paste right in, fills the hole right in. Yeah, I got another little hole right there. Let's see if we can just put a little bit in there. See how it fills it right in? All right, guys, that's going to do it for the finishing. So thanks for watching, and we will catch you on the next one. All right, so this is a sneak look inside the concrete underground where I have multiple trainings, multiple different categories on how I teach you how to pour and finish concrete, how to repair concrete, how to do epoxy coatings. There's just multiple different trainings where I go in-depth and teach you how to do all this stuff.